Welcome back to Switch to Linux. Well, I thought today we might have a look at Linux Mint 22 Mate. And this is one I don't often look at Mate. It's honestly not my favorite desktop environment. So to understand the evolution of the various desktop environments, Mate is what GNOME was before it became GNOME 3, or the current layout that we often traditionally right now think of GNOME. And so um, what happened is GNOME decided it's going to go a completely different direction. The people who liked it creates Mate out of GNOME, and then Cinnamon came out of GNOME utilizing GNOME 3, but maintaining a similar look. So Cinnamon ends up being effectively a much more modern version of Mate. Now, uh, that being said, it's just, it's not bad, it's just not my personal cup of tea how the desktop is. So that's why I don't do a lot of videos about it. Although I do have a number of computers that do run it in the background, I don't often talk much about it. So I went ahead and installed Linux Mint here, and let's go ahead and walk through the basic welcome screen setups and all of these basic things as we start. So of course you start in like usual and have your welcome screen, and the first is you choose your desktop colors. Whereas the other version of Linux Mint we've already looked at utilizes the new modern theming system, this one still utilizes a little bit older version, although you can get effectively the exact same look and feel. So we can choose whichever one of these you would like to go, looking at lights, darks, uh, maybe some in-betweens, and things like that. So you can choose whichever your layout you, you would happen to like to have. I'm not sure why I went with the green and I still have blue up there, but let's see. There we are. So we'll stick with this. As far as our backgrounds, uh, once again, we do have a, a lot of the similar backgrounds as we have. This is the one I'm using on that one production. Let's go with something different on this particular one here. Uh, here you go. Let's go with this nice, beautiful uh, snow-covered mountain. We'll use that one. And of course, you can change your system fonts and things like that. And as far as your uh, interface, you can make those adjustments over there. System snapshots is the same. This just uses your time shift. So if you want to launch that out, you can enter your administrative password and go ahead and set that up. And you have your various options there. So this is a virtual machine with a very small size. We're not going to set this up, although I did set that up in some other previous videos. Your driver manager will let you know if there's any proprietary hardware that you need. I've already clicked this and uh, it does tell me that there is nothing else. Go ahead and hit this and you'll kind of see and verify that. There you go, you see no drivers needed, so we are set. Now involved in your, uh, let's look at the update manager. This is going to be exactly the same as we get in Cinnamon. It uses the same exact update manager and the same exact software center. So you can see here, I just installed that there are going to be a few updates uh, to install here as I just installed this and I did not push the updates. We have the option to change to your local mirror. That is all going to look exactly the same as it did on the previous versions where we looked at this in Linux Mint Cinnamon. You choose your main Linux Mint base and then your main Ubuntu base. And you can adjust other things in there. And of course, if you look at your Linux kernels, you have the same Linux kernels available to you. This is running the 6.8 series. So you can see that this one here is active. There is a new kernel we can install, which should show up somewhere in this list here. This is it right here. So we're not gonna go ahead and push any up, uh, updates right this second, just showing you where that is. And your software manager is also going to be the same. Now, the only thing that I did here is I did set up um, Evolution. I installed the uh, GNOME Calendar app and I set up an online accounts. And we're gonna get into that in just a moment. Uh, but just to, just to show you here that uh, I did install a few applications, particularly these two here, were installed by me in my initial testing. So I wanted to test Evolution, if that works with the online accounts. Initially, I was having a few issues uh, with the online accounts. I think it was probably just something either related to internet or something in my server. I'm not sure everything is working now, but I tested Evolution and GNOME Calendar as two verifications that this was actually working. And then, of course, we have our firewall settings. 
of your documentation such is all going to be the same. Now, as far as the way that uh, Mate works, it's going to be much the same. We do have a slightly different menu, and there are going to be a few minor differences here and there, particularly in your system settings is going to be quite a bit different uh, in that we have, uh, we have some different tools. Let's go ahead and start up our control center. So this is what our control center looks like in Mate. A lot of the same features, just a little bit different um, uh, layout than we saw inside of the uh, Linux Mint Cinnamon. So we have our, our backup tool here for your files, login manage, manager uh, management, here's printers, package managers over here, software sources, all these basic things. Now here's the one major feature that Linux Mint 22 brings to the table with Mate, and that is your online accounts. So when you click in on your online accounts, you can actually install online accounts, which was not a feature in previous versions of Linux Mint Mate because this utilized some of the features built into GNOME. Now, as GNOME is moving into GTK4 and broke some of the layouts, then it forced Linux Mint to create their own standalone online account. So you can now install this on literally any other distribution. So if you're using some distribution, you want the online accounts, then you can go ahead and set those up. Now you'll see here I have a Nextcloud, which I have blurred out uh, the username there for that, so you can't see exactly what that is. If I click on that, I can view my files, I can view my calendars, and I can view my uh, contacts. So any application that I have that utilizes the online account system can view those things. So that's why I installed the calendar application. And uh, the calendar application, um, I will note, by the way, uh, you'll see this weird artifacts showing up on the screen. That is actually the online accounts is doing this. Uh, I'm consistently getting weird artifacts with this online accounts app open. There might be something wrong with this over here. And I only saw it on Mate. I guess before we get to the calendar, I'll show you one more thing. I tried to work with the IMAP settings. I cannot get this to work at all. Uh, so I'm just utilizing my own email server, my own custom email, and one of the things I can't see what ports it's trying to use, despite my server does use the default ports, it's not showing up, like it's it's just not connecting, and I don't know why that is. There's not a problem if I want to install those exact same emails on Evolution itself, but utilizing the online accounts, the SMTP email settings are just not working. So I'm not sure what the situation is with that. We're going to get, get rid of that so I can pull this up here. And if you go back and look, you can see I have a dentist appointment back there. And uh, I don't keep a ton on there, but there you go. There's some various uh, other appointments showing up on my calendar. And um, those are all coming in from my online calendar. So if I pull this down, you can see this one. This is the personal calendar tied to my online account, and this is the one on the local computer. So that is the standalone calendar application. Now, Evolution itself also has a built-in calendar application, in which case we see uh, all the calendars work up. I also verify the contacts works as well. I'm not going to click over there because that's real-life contacts. This is what I use to manage my contacts on my phone. Uh, but yes, everything shows up perfectly fine here in Evolution as well. And then, of course, the other spot that does work out well is over here, just clicking in on my uh, WebDAV link directly in, uh, I think this is, is this Thunar? Kaja, excuse me, Thunar's XFCE. So right here in Kaja, just click on that, and this goes right on into my uh, various, uh, my network shares on my uh, Nextcloud account as well. So that is one of the core features that the new version of Linux Mint 22 brings to Mate and XFCE is this functional online accounts. So if that's something that you are looking for uh, and you like Mate and XFCE, these are various functions we have. As far as everything else over here, uh, it is going to be very similar to all of the other tools that we have in uh, Linux Mint Cinnamon. We have USB writers, stick formatters, Warpinator, all the various features and functions. Uh, we do have the Matrix uh, web app client that's set up through the web apps. We have transmission. We have the full office suite. Note, I installed the calendar and the evolution app. You can install those directly through the, uh, through the software center. 
So overall, our system works well. Uh, if you look at the system monitor, uh, you'll notice that this is running one gigabyte. So it's about the same as Linux Mint Cinnamon. So it just kind of depends on which one of these desktops you like the most. Some people really like Mate better than Cinnamon. Some people like Cinnamon better than Mate. Uh, it's just a value judgment on yourself as to what you personally like rather than uh, having somebody else force your you know their view on you I know which one I like and why uh, but I did want to go ahead and highlight this knowing that those online accounts are working of course I can't get that email working I did try going back to cinnamon as well I might try an older version of Linux Mint cinnamon see if that feature is in there and see if I can get it working there uh, I'm not sure what the issue is with that uh, but everything else does work since I use Evolution, installing uh, online accounts, setting up my next cloud and using Evolution, everything works perfectly fine out of the box. So we have a really good feature and function working there. With that, um, there is our very brief look at Linux Mint Mate. You can see it's very much the same as Cinnamon, just as uses a slightly different desktop op operating system, uh, desktop environment rather. And so with that, we can kind of see all of the functions involved. So thank you guys for watching. Let me know your thoughts. Do you like Mate or not? And let me know other thoughts or questions about this in the comments down below.